Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannad, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 2.5, Problem Solving in the Steady Flow Energy Equation. This is part 2. We will take few problems from the unanimous question paper and we will solve the problem. First problem. Example number 4, this is from Anna University exam, May 2019. The power output of an adiabatic steam turbine is 5 megawatt and the state of steam entering the turbine is pressure 2 megapascal, temperature 400 degrees Celsius, velocity 50 meters per second, elevation 10 meters. The state of the steam leaving the turbine, pressure 15 kilopascal, dryness fraction 0.9, Velocity 180 meters per second, elevation 6 meter. Determine 1. The change in enthalpy, kinetic energy, and potential energy. The work done per unit mass of the steam flowing through the turbine and the mass flow rate of the steam. So, the data given. Probably the Padicham Richona, write down the given data. Power output of the turbine, P equal to 5 megawatt. Inlet condition, pressure P1. 2 mega pascal which is 20 bar. So, 1 mega pascal equal to 10 bar. So, 1 mega pascal equal to 10 to the power 6 pascal. So, 1 10 to the power 5 pascal equal to 1 bar. So, it is 20 bar. Temperature at inlet 400 degree Celsius. Velocity at inlet 50 meters per second. Elevation at inlet is at 1 10 meters. Pressure at exit 15 kilopascal, which is 0.15 bar. Dryness fraction at exit 0.9 bar. Velocity V2 180 meters per second. Elevation at exit Z2 6 meter. When you have the enthalpy of the steam, the enthalpy of the steam contributing using the steam table. First, using the steam table, from the steam table at the pressure P1 equal to 20 bar, T1 equal to 400 degrees Celsius. Specific enthalpy of the superheated steam. Table length is the value. H1 equal to 3 to 48.7 kilojoules per kilogram. Then from steam table once again, P2 equal to 0.115 bar. HF2, 226 kilojoules per kilogram. HF G2, 2373.2 kilojoules per kilogram. So, exit condition now it is wet steam. Inlet condition now it is superheated steam. Superheated steam enthalpy on the direct steam table. Wet steam enthalpy we have to calculate. So, a specific enthalpy of the steam at exit, wet steam enthalpy H2 equal to HF2 plus X2 into HFG2. So, substitute panam 226 plus 0 0.9. X value, X2 value 0 0.9 kuduthu 0.9 into 2373.2 equal to 2361.88 kilojoules per kilogram. Change in enthalpy H1 minus H2 equal to 3248.7 minus 2361. 0.88 equal to 886.82 kilojoules per kilogram. Then change in the kinetic energy. In the formula, 1 by 2 V1 square minus V2 square equal to 1 by 2 50 square minus 180 square. So, velocity V1 is 50, 50 meters per second, V2 is 180 meters per second. Substitute and calculate, it is minus 14950 joules per kilogram or 14.95 kilojoules per kilogram. Then change in potential energy, G into Z1 minus Z2. So, nine, G even the acceleration due to gravity, 9.81, Z1 10 meter, Z2 6 meter, substitute and calculate 39.24 joules per kilogram. So, change in enthalpy, change in kinetic energy, change in potential energy calculated. Then work output from the steam turbine. So, steady flow energy equation is used for G Z1 plus 1 by 2 V1 square plus H1 plus Q equal to G Z2 plus 1 by 2 V2 square plus H2 plus W. So, W, the Q value kudukla, arala Q value on the drop pani row. So, W equal to G into Z1 minus Z2 plus 1 by 2 V1 square minus V2, V2 square plus H1 minus H2. Substitute pani amna, erikkanai contribute chuchu chukko. G into Z1 minus Z2, 39.24, 1 by 2 V1 square minus V2 square, change in kinetic energy, minus 14950, H1 minus H2, change in enthalpy, 886820, so, calculate pannam 871.909 joules per kilogram or 871.91 kilojoules per kilogram. 
So work output of the steam turbine is 871.91 kilojoules per kilogram. Then mass flow rate of the steam, m equal to power divided by work done. 5000 kilojoules per kilogram, work done 5 megawatt is given. 5 into 10 power 3, 5000 kilojoules per kilogram divided by 871.91 equal to 5.734 kilograms per second. That is the amount of steam flowing through the turbine. The next problem, example number 5. Uh, this is from May 2019, May 2017 question paper. In a gas turbine, gases enter the turbine at the rate of 5 kg per second with a velocity of 50 meters per second and the enthalpy of 900 kJ per kilogram and leaves the turbine with a velocity 50, 150 meters per second, enthalpy 400 kJ per kilogram. The loss of heat from the gases to the surrounding is 25 kJ per kilogram. Assume R, capital R, gas constant is 0.285 kJ per kilogram Kelvin, Cp equal to 1.004 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. The inlet condition to be 100 kPa and 27 degrees Celsius. Determine the work done and diameter at the inlet of the pipe. So, problem the partition we have to write the given data. The given data, mass flow rate is 5 kg per second. Inlet enthalpy H1 900 kJ per kilogram, exit enthalpy H2 400 kJ per kilogram, inlet velocity V1 50 meters per second, exit velocity V2 150 meters per second, heat loss to the surrounding 25 kJ per kilogram, gas constant 0.285 kJ per kilogram Kelvin, specific heated constant pressure Cp equal to 1.004 kJ per kilogram Kelvin, inlet pressure 100 kPa and temperature is 27 degrees Celsius which is 300 Kelvin. So after writing the data, so first we have to calculate the work done using the steady flow energy equation, work done of the gas turbine. So potential energy Z1 terms of the Kulukula, direct as daily padilla. So 1 by 2 V1 square plus H1 plus Q equal to 1 by 2 V2 square plus H2 plus W. So rearranging the terms W equal to 1 by 2 V1 square minus V2 square plus H1 minus H2 minus Q. Substitute the values W equal to 1 by 2. V1 50 square, V2 150 square, H1 900 minus H2 400. H1, H2 on the kilojoules per kilogram are substituted. So we have to multiply by 1000. Q 25 kilojoules per kilogram. So it is heat loss, heat loss to the surrounding. So heat rejected from the turbine. So minus value, it is negative value minus 25,000. So 25 kilojoules per kilogram multiplied by 1000, 25 kilojoules, 25,000. Calculate pannam naka, W equal to 465000 joules per kilogram. So, the multiply dividing by 1000. So, this is 465 kilojoules per kilogram. So, the work done equal to 465 kilojoules per kilogram. Then power output of the gas turbine. So, P equal to M into W. M into mass into work done. So, 5 into 465 equal to 2325 kilowatt or kilojoules per second. Then specific volume of the air at inlet. V1 equal to RT1 by P1. So, P1, V1 equal to RT1. So, RT1 by P1, R equal to 0.285. Temperature T1 equal to 300. Pressure P1 equal to 100 equal to 0.855 meter cube per kilogram. Then, calculating the area at the inlet, A1 equal to M1, V1 by V1. So, from the continuity equation, M equal to A1, V1 by small V1. So, A1 equal to 5 into 5 kilogram per second, 5 into 0.855 divided by 50 equal to 0 0.0855 meter square area. Then we have to calculate the diameter at inlet D1 equal to square root of 4 by pi, a 4 A1 divided by pi. So A1 equal to pi by 4 D1 square. So using this we calculate A into 4 into A1 divided by 5 divided square root of 4 into 0 0.085 divided by pi equal to 0 0.33 meter which is 33 centimeter. That is the answer to the problem. Example number 6. From May 2015 question paper, a turbine operating under steady flow condition receives steam at the following state. Pressure 13.8 bar, specific volume 0 0.143 meter cube per kilogram, internal energy 2590 kilojoules per kilogram, velocity 30 meters per second. The state of the steam leaving the turbine, pressure 0 0.35 bar, specific volume 4.37 meter cube per kilogram, internal energy. Uh, 2360 kilojoules per kilogram, velocity 90 meters per second. The heat loss to the surrounding is 0 0.25 kilojoules per second. If the rate of steam flow is 0 0.38 kilogram per second, what is the power developed by the turbine? 
So reading problem to read panna onna, we write down the given data. So given data pressure at inlet P1 13.8 bar, pressure at exit P2 0.35 bar, specific volume V1 0.143 meter cube per kilogram, internal energy at inlet U1 2590 kilojoules per kilogram, velocity at inlet V1 30 meters per second, velocity at the exit. 90 meters per second, specific column at exit, 4.37 meter cube per kilogram, internal energy at the exit, V2 equal to 4.37 meter cube per kilogram, internal energy is 2360 kilojoules per kilogram, heat loss to the surrounding 0.25 kilojoules per second and mass flow rate of the steam is 0.38 kilogram per second. Now, power output of the turbine. So, from the steady flow energy equation, M into 1 by 2 V1 square plus U1 plus P1 V1 plus Q, Q is the heat loss to the surrounding equal to M into 1 by 2 V2 square plus U2 plus P2 V2 into W. So, rearranging the terms, W into w equal to M into 1 by 2 V1 square minus V2 square plus U1 plus P1 U1 minus P2 V2 minus U2 plus Q. Substituting all numerical values, W equal to 0 0.38 into 1 by 2, 30 square minus 90 square plus U1, 2590 into 1000. So, we have to substitute in joules per kilogram. Pressure 13.8 bar, it is 13.8 bar into 10 power 5 to convert into Pascal or Newton's per meter square into 0 0.143 minus P2, 0 0.35 in 10 power 5 into v, V2, 4.37 minus U2, 2360 joules per kilojoules per kilogram. So, 2360 into 10 power 3 minus Q equal to, it is leaving, it is rejected from this turbine. So, 250 minus 250, 0 0.25 kilojoules per second, which is equal to 250 joules per second. So, calculating 0 0.38 into, so first term minus 3600, second term change in, uh, second term is 2.78 10 power 6 and third term minus 2.53, 513 in 10 power 6. Outside the bracket, we got minus 250. Simplifying, W equal to 103.738 watt, which is equal to 103.738 kilowatt. So, the power output of the turbine is 103.738 kilowatt. So, we stop here. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. Uh, we will meet again in another video lecture uh, to solve problem using the steady flow energy equation. Until then, bye.